So I'm here with Aiden. Aiden, obviously, you're a massive Irish fan. If I'm correct in saying you haven't missed a game since one game since men's game since '69. Um, thanks to my granddaughter Grace. I've been following the girls in green since 2018, and I have to say I've enjoyed that as much as I have following the men. Obviously, a massive crunch game for the girls in green tomorrow evening against Canada. Potentially a must-win game, or at least we need a result to get out of the group. How are you feeling? I think I'm feeling confident. I, I hope that the girls will take the shackles off, and Vera will take the shackles off the girls. Change the team a bit from the other night, uh, push Katie a bit forward, maybe Izzy Atkinson in, and um, have a go at the Canadians, because I think when we started playing the other night, I thought we really did well, and I think we could do it again on, on thing. And then it's all to play for even more when we get to Brisbane and Nigeria. We saw Abby Larkin obviously have a massive impact when she came off the bench. Do you think she could be the key to potentially unlocking the Canadian defence tomorrow night? I'm not so sure she'll start, given Vera's sort of conservative nature. I think she should, but maybe if she brought her on a little bit earlier, uh, maybe in the second half as an impact sub, maybe at half time, something like that. But she played, she changed the game the other night, there's no doubt about that, absolutely. You know? You mentioned bringing Katie McCabe uh, a little bit further up the pitch. How would the, the back three or back four potentially look behind then if you, if you bring her into maybe the midfield or the forward line? Well, I think Izzy Atkinson would probably be the person to bring in because she came in when Katie went off uh, in the French match. Uh, but, you know, Katie wasn't there to protect her and we weren't great down that side. But I think if Katie was there in front of her, it would give more solidity, but it would also give us Katie going forward, and I think we'd, we'd really, really do well with that because some of Katie's balls in, and if, if there were with you know uh, people coming in from the right side, I think you know those balls that Katie puts in are deadly from sort of halfway into the half. You know, so it's a must-win or at least not lose game. We need all the support we can get. Atmosphere in Sydney was good. How does it feel to be out in Perth? A lot of green around and more coming in. I think tonight that you'll see them all coming in. And hopefully, uh, I've heard of actually people looking for tickets today and tickets being transferred around, not being touted. And I think uh, I'm here in the Shebeen, and I think if anybody comes into the Shebeen, I am aware that the barman might know of a few tickets that could be made available. So, all I'm saying to anybody in Sydney, or in, sorry, where are we? Perth. Anybody in Perth? Uh, come out, come to the Shebeen, and if you're looking for a ticket, you'll get it. But it doesn't matter, get to the ground tomorrow and just support the girls in green. Give them welly. That's my saying to the girls. Give it welly. So if you were in, in that dressing room before the game to get them G'd up, you tell them, give it welly. Give it welly. And actually, it was raining fairly here, bad in here in Perth today, and you might have needed the wellies, but give them wellies tomorrow. Stuck in. Thank you very much for your time.